what the mainstream media was afraid to tell you about the news this week. This week, while well, the mainstream media was obsessing about press secretary Kayleigh McEnany's binder of research, here are the things that happened that really matter. A shocking new video shows Planned Parenthood officials admitting under oath to breaking the law. In the video, Perrin Larton, the procurement manager of Advanced Bioscience Resources, who partnered with Planned Parenthood to harvest the organs of babies inside the Planned Parenthood clinics, admits under oath that babies just, quote, fall out of mothers intact, and that can include babies with beating hearts. Then Planned Parenthood abortionist Dr. Deborah Nukatola admits that infants are sometimes born alive in Planned Parenthood clinics and left to die in the clinic, depending on, quote, the availability of interventions. Finally, John Dunn, the CEO of two Planned Parenthood clinics in Southern California, admits that when a baby was born alive after a botched abortion in his clinic, they did not call 911. Instead, they left the baby to die. But did the mainstream media report on this? No, no, the mainstream media is silent. Hollywood celebrity Nick Cannon apologized after his disgusting anti-Semitic comment on his podcast after Viacom CBS fired him. But Nick Cannon has not apologized for the disgusting anti-white racism he spewed on his podcast. Cannon says white people, because of our skin color, quote, lack compassion. He says white people are a little less. He said white people act out of deficiency. The only way white people can act is evil. He calls white people savages, barbaric animals because of the color of their skin. But did the mainstream media call him out for his hateful, bigoted, anti-white racism? Nope, the mainstream media didn't even mention that part. Shocking acts of domestic terrorism, targeting religious people practicing their faith in their houses of worship, struck the United States from within last weekend. But you probably didn't hear about it because the target of the attacks were Catholic churches. Four Catholic churches in four states, California, New York, Massachusetts, and Florida, were all targeted. A man in Florida plowed his car into the foyer of Queen of Peace Catholic Church in Florida, poured gasoline in the foyer, and lit it on fire while parishioners were in the sanctuary. But did the mainstream media report on this? Barely. The mainstream media reported more outrage about the Little Sisters of the Poor Supreme Court ruling than actual terrorism against the Catholic Church. 15 people were shot in New York City in a 15-hour period last weekend as violent crime soars. It's easy to see why, as police presence has been substantially reduced and rioters and vandals are allowed to destroy the city with impunity. This is what happens when you defund the police. But New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez dismissed the violence, saying crime in New York is soaring because people need to shoplift bread or else they'll starve. A one-year-old boy was shot dead at a New York City cookout last week. A one-year-old baby. What does that kind of heinous murder have to do with shoplifting bread? But did the mainstream media call out AOC for her hideous lies in the face of violence that's destroying minority communities? No, the mainstream media ignored her and her lies. Nearly 20,000 mail-in ballots in the state of New York could be thrown out because the post office did not add postage to the envelopes. The New York primary was held more than two weeks ago, but it was only within the past few days that the New York Board of Elections admitted that up to 4% of the mail-in ballots might be discarded and the votes not counted because of the postage issue. There were 403,000 absentee ballots submitted in that election. 4% of that number of votes is a huge number. There are local district and state races, sometimes even federal races, that are decided by mere hundreds of votes let alone tens of thousands. But did the mainstream media report on the vulnerability of mail-in voting that we're seeing with our own eyes? No, no, because the mainstream media is in the pocket of the left and the left wants mail-in voting despite the vulnerability to inaccuracy, error, and outright fraud. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will. 